Hi there YouTube, Extreme Trains here. In this video we're taking a look at another one of the Thomas Wooden Railway for 2022 reboot engines. This one is everyone's favourite green engine. And I know there's multiple but I think this is everyone's favourite. It's Henry, who I've managed to get into my hot little hands. Uh, Henry I think is quite a highly anticipated engine. Uh, not only because he has an interesting design but I think he has a quite unique face as well. So, what are we waiting for? Let's do it. So let's have a very quick look at Henry's packaging. Again, very standard uh, of this, everything except the first couple of engines that I reviewed in that big packaging on the front, pull him out. Yep, we can see him on the side. That looks good. This on the end, we've got this on the top, this on the bottom, this on the other side. And then we come around here and you can see again, we've got the little flap. And when we pull this out, there's the perforated section, which is gonna imply that we do have the uh, little pamphlet that has all the engines in it. So exciting to see, but also I'm so confused why are they different at the start? Who knows? So what are you waiting for? Let's get him open. All right. So here's Henry amongst the backdrop of the other Thomas Wooden Railway 2022 engines I've got. So let's have a first look at Henry as an engine by himself. So I'm just going to do a little bit of a lift up spin around. Now let's take a look firstly at the face. So I think this is a relatively good uh, kind of scared, anxious Henry face. I think it looks a little bit more youthful in person than it does in the packaging. I'm reaching down to the packaging now. Yeah, I think because, you know, normally Henry has like a little bit more, I want to say lining to the face. And again, it kind of looks like the eyes are printed a little bit too low down. Like if you see in the shadows here, it seems like the eyes should just be a tiny bit further up and it seems like they've been printed a little bit too close to his cheeks. Now, I don't know if that's just a mistake on mine or I think because Gordon was like this too, it's all of them. Yeah, you can see how the printing is kind of on the slanty bit and it feels like the printing should be up a little bit higher. So once again, I feel like uh, the printing is not exactly right. They haven't quite nailed these new faces yet. Um, but that would probably fix it. But otherwise, I think it's pretty good. Uh, in terms of the detailing, we've got the buffers along here. That is always good to see. Coming around to the side, again, Henry's back to a nice long length. Uh, you can see we've got the wheel arches here, which don't quite match up to the actual wheels. But again, I don't think that's too bad. I definitely prefer, again, this kind of thing where we've got, yes, this is where those connecting rods would be. And then just black rather than the weird thing that they did with James. I'm never going to stop talking about that because I hate it so much. Um... And we've got these details on here, which is nice. The way that kind of ends is a bit funny, but yep, all right, sure. No different to, I suppose, these lines just kind of ending. Coming around to the top then, you can see we've got the railing. We've got the inserts for his two domes here, obviously, as well as the funnel. And he's got his, you know, new shape firebox, as you would expect. Uh, coming back down to the cab, firebox glow, yep, sure. The handrails and the rivets, yep, okay. Nothing on the back. Uh, the same wheel printing and style as Gordon as you can see here. And then we look on the bottom, we can see Henry, again, all plastic. And you can see in there, um, the big plastic center, I guess, which is what's kind of in the middle of, of this, this engine. But again, yeah, the size is still really nice and the feeling is quite nice. I must say his wheels feel a lot looser than Gordon's for some reason, uh, even though they are, you know, broadly the same. It might be that Henry's, oh, no, hang on. That's a lie. You can see here that my Henry's, whether that's a mistake or it's on purpose, um, see how there's this, you can see there's a gap between the back set of wheels and the chassis, which Gordon does not have anywhere near as much of a gap. It's very almost closed. So I don't know if that's an intentional thing that's happened or if mine is faulty. Uh, it doesn't matter when he's on the track, but it does make him feel very floppy, I suppose. So there's that. Uh, now we have a quick look at Henry's tender. The first thing about Henry's tender that jumps out to me is the number is way too big. Um, it's kind of cartoonishly big, uh, which is weird because I didn't feel the same about Gordon's, uh, which you can see in the back here. Even though Gordon's is obviously bigger, but you can see again, like Henry's number is bigger than Gordon's. Which is weird, it goes to what I was saying uh, in some of my other videos, for example with Nia, where she's got the purple firebox glow. It doesn't quite feel like the same people were designing all of these engines. Um, like there was a little bit, there was a, a couple different people working on the design teams and they all had their own different ideas and no one kind of sat them all down. Because then if you look at James, 
different again. His has got a small fine number, and this is quite a thick. Like this is feels like an all engines go stylized number, whereas this feels very railway or well, you know, CGI series esque uh, and and much more realistic. So I don't know what's going on with that, uh, but it does. That's the thing that really like I look at the ten down straight away, my eyes were drawn to the size of the number. Otherwise, though, the detailing is quite good. Coal loaded on the top. We've got the nice little cutout bit here. Obviously exaggerated, but still good. Um, the wheels here, as I've talked about, I think on the three uh, axle versions, the height of the tender doesn't bother me anywhere near as much as it does on the smaller tenders. So that's good to see. Again, you can see Henry's tender. Uh, and yeah, that's him all together. Oh, just coming on to Thomas. So when you put him together, I think he looks pretty darn proper. Um... If anything, maybe his tenders a little looks a little bit too big versus Gordon, where it looked a little bit too small. Um, you can see, yeah, he does rock a lot on his chassis. Again, compared to Gordon, a lot of rocking. I think that maybe is just a fault with mine, which I guess you know is what it is. But yeah, I think Henry looks quite good. Um, again, nice shape, nice design. If we do a quick comparison to Thomas, who I've just got here, isn't it great having them right there? Um, I think this size is. Pretty good as a comparison. Obviously, it's the same size as Gordon, um, so that looks pretty good. If we do the compare between Gordon and Henry, I think those two, boy, the wheels just going everywhere, uh, look pretty good together. Uh, disappointing, they've both kind of got like surprised faces, given they're both kind of larger engines. I don't know, just they're both a bit surprised, but you know, that's fine. Again, I don't know what the formula was here as to how they decided who got funny faces and who just got, you know, relatively neutral faces. Um, so I don't know what the formula was with that, but anyway, that's okay. Um, otherwise that's broadly all we need to do when we're talking about the new Henry here. Um, whether you want to pick him up, I, that's going to be a question for you. Uh, I paid $35 for this Henry, uh, buying it from Amazon. Um, I have a prime membership in Australia, so I got free shipping from Amazon US. Um, I haven't, I've heard a rumor um, that these are actually going to be coming to Australia later in the year. Uh, but that is an unconfirmed rumor made by a vague post from a, an Australian Thomas retailer or train retailer, um, who posted on Instagram that an exciting new product line was coming soon. Uh, and I asked them on Instagram, is this Thomas Wooden Railway? And they didn't reply. So I don't know whether that's because it wasn't that or because people, they're not monitoring their social media page or whether it's because they're not allowed to say yet. I don't know. So it might be that these are coming to Australia, but for me, uh, $35 for this is, I think about what this is going to cost when it's in the store. Unfortunately, uh, is this a $35 toy? Well, again, for a comparison, this here is a Transformers Studio Series figure, deluxe class. They are now a $35, $40 toy in Australia with everything that's going on in 2021. Um, do I think that there's the same amount of value here? No. Uh, yes, this is made of wood, but the engineering, the paintwork, the, the metal that's in this one, like there's quite a lot of metal pins, obviously is quite different for that kind of figure. Is this worth $40 worth a toy? Um, that's a separate question. But I think, uh, yeah, these are definitely going to be a premium toy. Are they worth the price that it's being charged for them? Don't know. Um, but is this a good Thomas Wood, uh, Thomas, Thomas Wood and Railway 2022 model? Absolutely. So if you're collecting of Henry, if you're collecting the new Thomas Wood and Railway, this is definitely a good one. Um, I think the question of value on its own is a difficult one. And once I have some, uh, Proper confirmation of whether these are coming to Australia. We might do a whole video on whether or not they're actually worth it uh, in the Australian context. But that's what we've got time for. I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Thanks very much for watching. Look forward to hearing your comments down below. This is Extreme Trains. Mm -hmm.